It is great to have you with us on the cafe. In the best-selling box, a 13-storey treehouse, there is a bowling alley, a self-making beds, and a marshmallow machine. Now, these stories are being brought to life on stage for audiences across the country to experience. Please welcome to the cafe two of the stars of this amazing new show, Damien Avery and Ryan Deleu. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to have you here. First up, this book, the 13-storey treehouse, and the rest of the books that follow on from it. Quite a big deal because kids love this book. Like, I would say almost to the point of obsession. So for those that don't know what it's all about, can you give us a quick rundown? Uh, so no pressure, get it right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so they've made uh, quite a few of these particular books. Yeah. The 13 Story Treehouse, um, being that it sets it up, is all about uh, Andy and Terry as a writer, illustrator duo, uh, actually having to write the book and get it. Uh, on time for their publisher, Mr. Big Nose. So they play themselves in the books and they live in their treehouse and it's their adventures in that treehouse. And by the start of the book, they haven't written a book. And by yeah. the end of the book, they've somehow miraculously it's written a book. very meta. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got bowling alleys, self-making beds and marshmallows, I just want to go there. I mean, is it, is yeah, it a awesome. tough show to stage? Uh, so for this particular one, they took the ingenious approach of making it a play within a play. Right. So we turn so up a week too late yeah. for our play. Right. And like, oh there's my goodness, an audience. It's opening night already. How does oh, that happen? Oh, there's an audience. Oh, what are we, what are we gonna do? Yeah. Oh, let's just make it up on the spot. See, that sounds like the perfect thing to do. You know what it sounds like though? This, these this, these treehouse stories. A little bit like the magic faraway tree. Do you remember those books? Absolutely oh not. <laughs> <laughs> Enid Blyton, the magic faraway tree. You don't know about them. Don't no. worry, boys, neither do I. Oh, yeah. no, but no, don't read that one, read this one. <laughs> Great book, um, In a Blight and Magic Faraway Tree. Magic stuff happened in it. Is it like a really, f I can't believe you didn't read it. Go and read it, guys. Okay, sorry. I feel geriatric I now. So, and um, do, do you have to f find that it's very physical on stage? There's lots of stuff to do. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My yeah. goodness. Some They're in injuries. a complete panic for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so is, it, is it for kids or is it for adults? Or is it for everybody? I, I like what the book says, which is, it's for um, like children six and up and their grown-ups, yeah. or something like that. There's there's definitely a sense of the kids laugh at the fart jokes and the adults laugh when they get to see behind the curtain about us panicking as to mm. what's happening live in front of them. But a fart joke is always good, though, isn't hey, it? Hey mate, I enjoy a good fart. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody loves farts. They do. Yeah. They do. And is it harder? Because I know Damien, you've done a bit of Shakespeare. Well, actually, you've both probably done Shakespeare. You're probably more him than yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> when you're putting on a show for kids, is it actually hard? Harder than putting on a show for adults because uh, kids will be really critical. They get bored so yeah. fast. Yeah, don't they? yeah, 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 yeah. Um, some subtleties tend to just go out the window in <laughs> favour of loud noises and screaming, right. so, for example. But at the same time, it has to be very true. Very kids true. Have yeah. Such a, a finely tuned um, sensor for uh, whether you are whether you are radar. telling yeah mm -hmm. whether you are telling the truth or not. They absolutely do. Do you find it a little bit distracting for you when you're used to being on stage doing things like Shakespeare and then you're in a theatre with a bunch of screaming kids and there's pretty much people walking up and down the whole time, isn't there? Going yeah. to the toilet, getting drinks. All yeah, that sort of thing. Uh, kids uh, lose toys and dads, you know, fur yeah, uh, exactly. um, the seats and stuff to try and find Found them teddy. and things. Yeah. And <laughs> but for um, every kid that is distracted like that, or their parent rather, there is. Um, you know, another two or three kids who are just yeah glued, glued like, to it. Amazing. And, and you, know, you know, the girl in the front row in Australia when we were doing it in Brisbane, and she was, the, <laughs> it was so cute. She stood up and gave us a standing ovation right in the front row. Oh, of the yeah. a six-year-old. And he was like, that is a job well <laughs> yeah. done. Yeah. When you were doing it overseas, did you ever had somebody bring the book and just you know check out that you were doing everything? Oh yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, so many people yell out the answers because they know exactly yes, what's going right, to happen. Yeah. All the kids and they're like, oh, it's on this, and you're like. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the thing you got to know about this book, Mike, is that it is a really big deal. Like most school kids of, like Australian, New Zealand school kids would know yeah. or have read this book. My right. son obsessed with them because it goes up down to the 78th story treehouse. Yeah, 78. Yeah. Now. And so, they're making another one this year, I believe. Yeah, which yeah. will be. Are, are there plans for you guys to do all of the shows? Um, CDP. Hey, look, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> No, and, and, <laughs> and for those, so I'm just trying to get my head around it. So for those that come, can you explain the size of the cast and the staging? You know, what are we going to see when we rock up to one of these shows? Or we'll take our kids. 
Um, so there's three of us, uh, yes. um, Andy and Terry, as in the, the people who are, you know, on the front of the book. Yeah. Uh, and we have a stage manager who runs the theatre. And, of course, we turn up a week late, as I said. Right. And uh, she just happens to have a box full of amazing props uh, for us to use. And um, a 2D, 3D converter. Yes, which is amazing. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Everyone okay. needs one of those. Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton, have, they, have you spoken to them? Have they come to see the show? Uh, not not personally, no, no. but... Uh, this is quite, for Australia, our players, they've done it before quite a yeah. while ago. Yeah. So it's, it's new here, but not new in Australia. So they're past the point of, of Why, uh, involvement in this <laughs> particular play version. And, they you're have other and you're taking it around the country. Where are you going? So only in the North Island. Yes. Um, where are we going? So we're going to uh, Hamilton, Tauranga... Tapo, uh, Whangarei. You're going uh, everywhere. Basically. Everywhere down to Wellington. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Well, South I think Island sounds, soon, fingers crossed. Sounds yeah. really cool. It sounds really good. I'm sure you guys will do a tremendous job of it. Don't muck it up. A lot of pressure. Muck <laughs> <laughs> it up. Oh, now no. for the 13th century. Bossy old mum here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't believe you haven't seen the magic faraway tree still. I'm still freaking for that. Uh, for the 13 story treehouse full tour details, you can check out the website on screen. Thanks, yeah, thanks guys. very much, guys. Awesome. Just to hear.